I identify as myself, the indwelling divinity that guides the functions of my being. My person is always, my person is therefore always in the presence of the Lord. When I give more respect to men than to the God within who is witness to all my thoughts, feelings, and actions, I am the one life dwelling as the self of all beings, all being myself as the indwelling divinity in all things is the source of prosperity and peace of the world. So this is the um, Asar truism and it's a part of the tree of life when you follow the 11 laws of God, um, the tree of life. And basically we need to understand what this what this law does is like we're planted it in our subconscious because when you say something to your subconscious mind it believes whatever you say if you if you sell yourself you're going to be a millionaire and you keep saying that every day this is like an affirmation basically you're going to eventually become a millionaire if you think you're going to be poor and you know people told you poor your mother told you you're going to be poor your family your friends then most likely you'll be poor so but when you understand your true divinity that we are God, you know, and that Saul is within all of us and he needs to be resurrected. Just like, it's basically like the second coming of Christ. It's Christ coming again inside of you. Um, that's really what it is. And so if you want the Christ to come alive inside of you again, then you say these 11 laws of God. Now this one right here is uh, the law I'm driving, so I gotta stay focused. This is the law of a saw, and um, it's a truism. And, uh, and you know, the important thing about this is understanding that we are not this flesh and blood. This it goes back to the earth. We are celestial beings. We are stars inside of a temple. You know, what I'm saying that's containing our energy. That's keeping this temple alive. Actually, when you when people die, they actually lose like 70 grams of weight. So it's proven fact that it's an energy that leaves the body. You know, bodies are always measured. Their weight is measured in the morgue. And you know, they, they actually you can determine that the energy left the body, you know, whether the person is dead or not. So what is this energy that has our body functioning? You know, the heart is beating, we breathing properly. Our senses are working, our eyes, our ears, our smell, our taste. This is the divine intelligence. You know what I'm saying? This is the saw that is asleep in the most of us. And we need to awaken this God within us. Just like that's how basically what the Egyptians did. In order to become a king or a pharaoh back then, you had to complete training, which is the Saurian religion. And you had to go through certain meditations and practices. And one is saying things like this truism right here, which is this saw truism and a key element to this truism is that we identify ourselves as the indwelling divinity as the god we don't identify see when people identify themselves as the human part of them then that's their lower nature that you know that part that likes to still you know be sexual and just be real selfish about itself you know what i mean not that sex is a bad thing it's not but many times people can use it for the wrong reasons. So it's that lower nature, you know what I mean? That's down in the root chakra. Where I'm living in is the crown chakra, which is the purple chakra, the root chakra is red. Every chakra in our body, which is the seven churches, we have seven chakras, is associated with a color. Now, what our goal is to do is to reach all the way up to the crown, from the sacral all the way up to the crown. And that's basically down the 33 vertebrae of our spine which is where you know you get the number Jesus lived 33 years and you know the 33 degrees of the Masons you know you go through one from the first degree to second degree of every degree you basically get more and more knowledge and the whole thing is to get knowledge of yourself and that's the main important thing that's what's going to bring about success in all of our lives is we, when we truly understand who we are that we don't need to bow to anyone we don't need to answer to anyone you know what i'm saying we can govern ourselves we don't need anyone's permission we don't need the state permission to govern ourselves you know what i mean a driver's license i don't need a license to drive my car 
I can drive the car, I know how to drive it. I don't want to crash, I don't want to run red lights, I don't need your permission to do that. But people, we put ourselves into these contracts and you know, it has consequences. That's why they can find us, they can charge our account, you know, and find us for live, you know, not obeying their policies and fake, you know, basically violations, which is against the constitution. So I said a whole lot, that's a mouthful, but basically the idea is to understand that we are divine. You are a goddess, I'm a god, you're a god, I'm a god. You know, we are family and we're one energy, one universe, one mind, all is mental, all right? That's the other thing. So it's nothing to fear, nothing to worry about. Everything works in divine order as we do things properly. So yo, Craig's Clips, and I hope that was a blessing to you.